on the last episode of the Fab Forums, I built some new turbo mounts for the Bibster. My goals for this episode is to finish up some of the wiring in the shop and get some Wi-Fi in here. In the shop today, trying to get some of this construction done in here, mainly running electrical. We got most of it sorted out. The electrical is kind of like the rest of this place where I don't know exactly what I want, but I've got uh, kind of an idea, and so I'm trying to cover all my bases. Main issues are around like where I'm gonna have the conference table, how it's gonna be set up, if I'm gonna put a TV on this wall, if I need HDMI, all kinds of stuff like that. One of the other things is I'm gonna do I want to do switched outlets in certain places. Like I got one I'm putting in the ceiling up here. And that's mainly for some, it's mainly to plug in like LEDs and lighting. So probably on this wall, I think I want to make like a big, huge old marquee style sign, like maybe an arrow style sign that has like bulbs all in it. And so for that fact, I need a switched outlet up there. Picked up a Jack Daniels whiskey barrel. Fits nice right there. May even like backlight that thing or backlight that corner a little bit. So getting getting all this electrical and all this construction done in here is like super high on my priority list. But right now what I need to be working on, number one priority is some kind of internet or cell service in here. So this place is like area 51, you walk in the building and I guess all the metal, you ain't getting no cell service, you're not getting any Wi-Fi, you're not getting anything in here. So I need to fix that because it's hard for me to do my job. It's hard for me to post stuff, you know, on social while I'm in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this repeater. I got a buddy of mine that uses one of these and it just basically steals his Wi-Fi signal off his house and repeats it within his shop. Seems to work awesome. He streams football games and all kinds of stuff on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Gonna make some brackets install this thing outside, kind of run some of the cabling in here, put the Wi-Fi antenna up here in the, in the kind of in the eave of the shop. The other thing that's nice is it'll do Cat5, so you can plug like two Cat5 into it. I'll probably run those down at some point and have them tied into the office somehow. So if I do have a computer or laptop in here, or anybody does, you can plug right into it. You got direct service versus a second secondary Wi-Fi signal. I'm trying really hard not to overthink this. Simple plate, got the tubing, just threw a weld all the way around that bad boy. And uh, I actually left it open at the bottom and that's to allow any drainage that might happen if water were to get inside this tube. And then some self tappers. Pop those things in that bad boy. Right in one of the main studs of the shop and I think I'll be good to go. Now, just time to throw some paint on this thing.
pull up a seat at my desk, my makeshift desk. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get this thing to work. All right, so that worked perfectly. Basically, all you do is if you have a wireless device, when you plug it in, this one actually found it right off the bat. And then when you open your browser, it automatically goes to an IP address that they, they tell you what it is. That IP address is like the console for this thing, so you can kind of set it up and you can see what networks it can see and all that kind of stuff. As soon as it came up, I had like 80%, uh, I could see I had like an 80% signal from my wireless at the house. So I connected to it, put in your password for the wireless at the house, and then you have your separate uh, Wi-Fi and password down here that this thing kind of puts out. So obviously the first thing I did was jump on YouTube um, kind of tried it out for a little bit and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to do a speed test. So I went to, I think it was like speedtest.net or something. And on Wi-Fi, this thing did uh, 27 megs down, 11 megs up, and plugged in through Ethernet. It did 37 megs download, 11 up. So pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it'll be fine for the shop. Now... Got access on my phone, so I can, I can Instagram now. Matter of fact, let's upload a video right now. Man, you got it rough, you know that. All right, so there you go. My version of stealing Wi-Fi, well, from my own house. So it's not really stealing, I don't guess, because I do pay for it. But anyway, great little tool. Found a thing on Amazon. Like I said, I've got a buddy of mine that uses one. He used it to actually like connect his garage doors open, garage door openers and all that stuff to the internet. And then he can open and close those things from really anywhere in the world. I plan to kind of do the same thing here. Security cameras, anything that's kind of Wi-Fi based, I'll connect it to those. The other thing is I really want to start doing like uh, live streaming from here. So maybe even like, I don't know, maybe even live stream all day. So just kind of set camera a camera up, move it around as I go, but it not being edited, not no talking, just me working. You can kind of see what goes on in the shop, how long things really take. So yeah. I guess back to work on some of this electrical. Um, you can kind of see, I'm sure some people are gonna ask why. Let's see, back. This header kind of goes all the way across. Well, that's because I put a big barn door in there. So I'm attached, I wanted something to attach the actual piece that the barn door rolls on. So that's why that thing goes the whole way. Anyway, get the electrical done and I'll start skinning this thing and it'll actually start looking like something. Getting pretty stoked, can't wait. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son. So I said that Wi-Fi was essential for working. Well, this is one of those things. Alexa, play Whiskey Myers. Shuffling songs by Whiskey Myers on Amazon Music.